My temporary unofficial Transformers break continues with Star Wars, the Black Series, Val, from the Solo movie. T-Man 978, Chill Review. Val, as she appeared on Vandor okay. 1, is number 71 in the Black Series. Here's the back of the packaging, and... If you want to read any of this, read that. It may be interesting. All right. I'd stop collecting Black Series, but I might have to go back on that because these things are friggin' impressive. Like, Bondi are going to have to step up SH Figure Arts Star Wars figures in some type of way. Like, look at that detail. Look at all the stuff hanging off of her. And it doesn't get in the way. Now, rotating the shoulders, I wouldn't go super crazy, but they made sure they molded this in such a way that her arm can come straight out or straight in front of her without ripping that off. Same goes for this hose right here. But these attachments do not impede on the articulation at all. They would look like they do, but they don't. The scarf is free-flowing. The diaphragm joint is improved upon female diaphragm joints or just diaphragm joints in period. Oh, it, diaphragm joints in general. And then the new neck thing rivals like SH Figure Arts where not only does the head pivot and whatnot, but the neck is a whole separate joint. Like... Y'all probably already know all this. This was on the Lando figure and I was impressed. And now it's on Val. She doesn't have that much upward motion, which is a SH figure art, this thing. Mostly because she has all this back here. But they did the way the head is cut. They did try to incorporate some ability to look up. But this is an excellent likeness to Thandy Newton right there. Like, holy crap. That looks good. My only issue is the glossy eyebrows. Now, with the Black Panther wave figures I've been reviewing, their eyebrows have been good, but she has glossy eyebrows. One complaint I have with the figure, like the... Well, two complaints I have. They gave her this hand right here, and nothing to hold in it. Maybe it could have just been a fist or a open dynamic hand so she can hold her hand on her waist or something like that but and other complaint the way the knees look the legs look at this not impeded at all when you bend the double jointed knees that is kind of weird looking <laughs> I don't like that uh, my figure this foot over here has like a semi-tight ratcheting system right there on this foot but on this foot that is free moving i could probably put some floor polish up in there but that is definitely free moving right there good ankle pivot she has a wide spread right there oh, can thandy newton still do that this swivels right there and because it's not attached or glued to the thigh it doesn't you don't have to worry about it ripping so that's good she can kick all the way forward kick back a little bit now it looks like she has a waist cut but unless that's glued together that's just molded i already showed the diaphragm i showed the shoulders the elbows bend more than 90 degrees i appreciate that look at the sculpting in the jacket right there that looks good and I think it showed everything she has the roll of the dice accent on this wrist and in and out now these are tight these swivels right here on the hand joints are tight try to bend at the base when you do that so I might have to warm that up and here is her gun separately now I don't know what I did with my 
Lando figure at the moment, so let me compare her to some other figures. Here she is next to a couple of rays. She's shorter. Maybe that's something in real life. Uh, um, Island Journey Ray is way taller than the other figures. So, I don't know. I would imagine she fits in line with that since they tried to upscale Black Series, but she's still short. So maybe she's really short in real life. And there is Killmonger, who is a Marvel Legends figure. So, end of the day, sculpting, paint, detail, amazing, outstanding. I didn't notice these goggles at first, but she has that. Her neck, the base is painted a different color. Now, there are ridges at the bottom of her neck. I don't know if that's something in the movie that she had or whether they didn't paint that. So that is a bit odd, but she looks really great. Articulation is great. The fact that they figured out how to not hinder her articulation, even with all these attachments and whatnot, that's great. I don't know, did they sculpt her back of her pants to look like anything? No, but I want to make sure I show everything before I stop. Anywho, get it, what the heck? it's a nice figure if you like star wars and if you like solo or if you just want to flesh out your collection of star wars black series figures i i don't see any problem with this it is freaking awesome go get it until next time t-man 978 out of here look for my star wars playlist she's gonna be in it and you can see all the rest of the stuff that i've reviewed so far i have quite a few figures amazingly See y'all. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click those f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click.